Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Ashley. And today we're going to teach you a brand new game called Double Double Cross. Now to play this game you need paper and pencil. You also need two dice. Now one is just a regular six-sided dice. The other dice is one that we've made that has all of the place value spots for the first for a six-digit number. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and hundred thousand. Now I recognize, I mean I've got lots of dice. Most families won't have that at home. You could easily replace that dice with another six-sided dice and maybe just have written on a piece of paper. If you roll a one, that's ones. If you roll a two, that's the second digit, that's tens. If you roll a three, that's third digit, that's hundreds. All right, now Nash, to play, we have to write first six yes. six-digit numbers. Now the only digits you can use are the numbers one to six. Six six-digit numbers. And we're gonna write nice and big on our pages and then I'll explain to you how to play. So we've both got our six six-digit numbers. Now we're gonna have a try, just make sure Nashi knows how to actually read them and that we're seeing them as whole numbers. So Nashi, this one here, can you read that number for me? 542,254. Beautiful, and this one? 505,666. Beautiful, now there's a problem with one of these digits. The zero? Yeah, so just tell me, I'll change it. What do you want to change the zero for? Because obviously we're not going to roll the zero. All right, so we'll make that a one. So now read me the number, 500 and... 515,666. Beautiful. Now here's how the game works, Nash. We roll the two dice. Mm -hmm. Whatever we get and the place value tells us what we're allowed to cross out. So say if I get four tens, then you're crossing out a four tens on one of your number. Uh, now the aim, <coughs> you don't have four tens, do you? Yeah. The aim of the game is to, the winner is the first person to cross out four digits in one of their numbers. Uh, Got it? Yeah. All right, so you take the pink, I'll take the red. All right, let's go. I'll roll first. So two, no, 20,000. I don't have a 20,000. You do have a 20,000. Oh, yeah. Cross it out. Ah, uh, no. Okay, you roll. Four tens. Okay, now... Um, no. Now, now, Nashi, look, I've got one... Two four tens. I can pick which one I want to cross out. Doesn't really make a difference. I'll just cross that one out. Okay. So you can only cross one out per turn. All right, you're all. Um, uh, two thousand. Okay, now have you got any two thousands? Yes, I do. Now let's have a look at this number here. That's ones. Uh, tens. Hundreds, and then that's thousands. That's thousands. So two thousands. That's hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have any I two thousands. Now hold on. Do you have any other ones to choose from? No. Okay. So cross that one out. All right. My turn. So as you can see, Nash is our winner because he crossed out his 500,000, his 40,000, his 2,000 and his four. So four crosses in the one number, so double, double. So that's how you play double, double cross. Uh, like I said, you need two dice. Really great game for understanding the place value components of big numbers. And you could hear lots of great discussion happening between us as we were playing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.